Are you looking for a desktop laser cutter and engraver? Well, this machine might be the one you're looking for. Hello drafters! In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Laser Master 3 or LM3 from Autor. We will unpack it, assemble it and discuss what it's capable of. I also want to take a moment and thank Autor for sending me this unit and letting me test it out. Now let's get into it. Laser cutting machines like this don't come with their own software. Instead there's a couple of options you use, one paid and one free. The paid and the one I recommend is an option called Lightburn. You do get 30 days free trial to use it but after that you'll need to pay about 90 Australian dollars for a lifetime access. The other option, the free option, is called Laser GRBL which is a free but doesn't have as many features as Lightburn. If you're tight to cash I recommend just getting Laser GRBL but if you're serious about using the machine, you probably want to use Lightburn, which is the option I decided to go with. Lightburn has been pretty easy to use, and I was even able to connect and operate to the laser cutter via Wi Fi network directly through the software, which is really cool. There is also plenty of well made tutorials online for Lightburn, and even plenty of content specifically using it with the Auto LM3. So if you're a beginner to the hobby like I am, well, I'm sure you're probably going to be able to find your way through it. Before we continue, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of this video, which is PCBWay. There was a time where I would do resin 3D printing at home, but I got to a point where I could no longer deal with the toxic liquid resins and harsh cleaning chemicals, especially with a young family in the home, and that's where I found PCBWay. I could now use PCBWay to print the miniatures without the mess, and honestly, I'm probably just going to sell my resin printer now. But resin printing is not the only thing that PCBWay can do. They have an expert team ready to take your hobby maker projects to a more professional level. PCBWay can do CNC, sheet metal, electrical PCB boards and assembly, and of course 3D printing in various materials including metal. Their online tools allow you to easily upload your project files, specify requirements and get a quote. So if you're looking to elevate your work or even explore bringing a product to life, I encourage you to take a look at PCBWay and see what they can do for you. Thank you to PCBWay for supporting this channel and now let's get back to the video content. So how was my experience on my first use with this machine? There is a phone app called Laser Explorer that you can use to connect to the cutter. You can also get the app on the iPad and I found the iPad mini to be the perfect companion when using this app if that's going to be your workflow. The app has the ability to quickly create a project using template icons and I used it to test out my first cut on a sample piece of plywood. Once I had figured out the project scale, position and the laser head's cutting area, I sent the job to the cutter. Because I didn't customize the laser settings correctly, the laser etch didn't etch the wood very well, but it did work. So I did another pass to darken it, and this was the result. Unfortunately, I don't have a well ventilated room, so I didn't want to cut or etch something too big and fill my room with smoke. I'll have to wait and invest in some sort of extraction system, and I do have a laser cutting tent around here somewhere that hasn't even been unboxed, and it's just waiting to be used. As mentioned before, you can also control the cutter via Wi-Fi directly through Lightburn, which allows for much deeper customization of etching and cutting settings. There is a video on how to use Lightburn with the LM3 over Wi-Fi, which I'll link to the description of this video. But the process was basically to connect the LM3 to the PC using a USB cable, and then you find the IP address, edit some settings in Lightburn, and then you connect. After a few issues I had during setup which related to having a bad USB cable, I was able to get it connect directly through Lightburn over Wi-Fi. So what about the learning resources? So this hobby of laser cutting is all quite new to me and you might wonder where do you start? Well the first thing I notice is there seems to be plenty of learning resources and even specific resources to the LM3. This is always a good sign since it means the community is actively using this machine and sharing that information. To start, you might want to check out the official tutorials from Autor, which there are many. They have videos on their YouTube channel which cover topics like assembly, using the app and maintenance, and then next you'll probably find a rich resource on YouTube for a whole range of subjects like how-tos and project builds and even experimentations. And then finally, you'll want to check out some of the laser cutting community sites. These are sites like Thangs or MakerWorld or Thingiverse, but they're focused on laser cutting and engraving projects. Some that I discovered were Instructables and Design Find, but there's plenty more out there. So if you know some others, then let me know in the comments so I can take a look. From learning to making, there's plenty out there for you to do. Now for the machine specifications. So the model I've been sent is the LM3 10 watt. 
It has a project area of 400 by 400 millimeters, and you can get an extension kit that will take that up to 400 by 850 millimeters. And that's the cool thing about this laser cutter. There are so many add-ons you can get to tailor it to the tool that you need. There are rotary mounts, air assist units, enclosures, smoke purifiers, materials, even plenty of replacement parts. And while we're talking about it, I may as well drop the promo code for $300 off the LM310 watt if you use the code SHARE300DD on the Autor site. And then there's all the safety features that you'll want in a machine like this. Things like a safety lock, emergency stop button, tilt shut off, crash detect, all this safety tech you want because you need to be really careful when using a laser cutter at home. Something like this is not a toy. It's not a toy that you can just set and forget like a 3D printer. So if you're considering one, I strongly encourage you to take just a bit of time learning about the safety and operation of using these machines. One last thing I really like about this machine is that you can upgrade the laser module. So it has some future proofing. So like I said, I have the 10 watt module, but Autor do have a 20 watt module. And all you need to do is connect a few wires, put on the new laser module and you're good to go. If Autor decide to send me a 20 watt module after this, I'd be glad to do a video on how to upgrade from the 10 watt to 20 watt. And we might even see an even stronger laser module in the future, something like a 40 watt. As for the materials that you can use with this machine, there's a whole bunch that you can work with. Things like wood, leathers, metals, stainless steel, porcelain, a bunch of others. And it'll be a matter of experimenting to see what you can get and the results that you get with these different materials. Just be aware, lasers are burning instruments and you need to do some research on any material that you plan to work with and see if there's anything hazardous that's released when they're heated or burnt. You may, and I'd probably recommend that you get some sort of ventilation for the work area that you're going to be in as well. As you can see, this is quite a capable machine with plenty of room to grow for your needs. You can purchase the machine and accessories or even materials and spare parts direct from the auto website. The price for the basic 10 watt model, which is the one I have, is 699 USD or for 1099 USD, you can get the 20 watt model. And this also comes with an air assist pump and all the connections that you need to connect that in. And again, don't forget to use the promo code SHARE300DD to get $300 off your order for the LM3 10 watt model. If you're doing simple jobs, the 10 watt might be enough, but if you can extend the budget to the 20 watt, that might be a better option long term. Although you could also go the cheaper option with the 10 watt and then later on upgrade and get a 20 watt module and swap it out. So here are my final thoughts on the Auto LM3 10 watt. Going forward, there is a lot for me to learn about laser cutting and engraving. Plus, I also need to change my setup a bit as I need to get some extraction in here and maybe even a smoke filter installed. I have a couple of projects in mind that I'll be using this machine for. The first is a simple project just to laser cut some panels to make some wood drawers to replace these crappy fabric shelves that came with this desk. The second project I'm going to explore laser etching designs into a 3D printing build plate, which is something I've seen done online with some success. So if those projects sound interesting to you, or if you have found value in this video, then please consider showing your support by simply liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Also, did you know this is my most watched video with over 160,000 views? Might wanna check it out.